Okay, today I will show you a quick hack for uh, connecting the Linux CNC to the um, to an IoT platform running on the uh, platform as a service from IBM called Bluemix. I will go to my dashboard. I've prepared some in my uh, dashboard or in my running instances. I have a, a web a service called it's a, it's a service called. Um, IoT or Internet of Things service. This is just uh, under under. Um, this is just an MQTT broker. So if you start this and go to the uh, dashboard of this MQTT broker, I will just launch the dashboard. You can add new devices and connect them to the broker. For example, here are the devices. I have prepared a device called a Linux CNC um, device ID and so on. I will show you what to do with. You uh, can just create a new device. I will say, okay, I have a new Linux CNC, for example, called Demo. And now you have this data. It's uh, your organization ID, watch type, demo, and you have a, a token, a password. And you go to the Linux CNC and uh, paste this data to your uh, device config. You see it here. The organization, a Linux CNC, the token, uh, and so on. And I have written um, an, a Python script um, which uh, uses the, um, the Linux CNC Python library to pull the data out of the, the real-time kernel. And um, this um, tab is embedded and is called here, it's called data logger underscore IBM. And it uses this, um, this device data you have created here. So uh, back to my dashboard, as I've mentioned, um, I've programmed a little Python script for integrating uh, the MQTT uh, client. And so because I'm now sitting at the, uh, uh, the office, I will start a Linux CNC simulation. And you see here, there is the, I will do, and you see here the so-called MQTT client. Now it's uh, already connected and this is the, the debug messaging uh, where you see sending the messages and now we will just uh, do some demo movement um, I will start here some demo movement it's now running and on the IBM Bluemix service there is a um, uh, application, uh, a boilerplate application. This is the, um, the Node Red project or a boilerplate, and this is a graphical um, graphical tool to um, to connect data and do data analytics, uh, connect it to uh, Watson and so on. And you can grab here the IoT input. Um, I have prepared some API keys, API keys, and I've um, created a, a key for the uh, Node Red application. So, and I will say, okay, uh, monitor all data you've got into the broker. For example, I call this uh, Linux, Linux CNC. Okay, I grab a debug uh, tab, um, connect this one, um, hit the deploy button, successfully deployed, and uh, in the debug menu you see the, um, the published message messages um, in the JSON format. And you can uh, do several things, uh, inputs, outputs, and so on. Uh, you can uh, tweet the message, you can uh, store it in MongoDB and so on, and you can do some advanced, very advanced analytics and so on, which values are um, deployed from the running uh, demo here at the Linux CNC. And uh, I will start this one. 
and then you see and see um, my Linux CNC machine book. I will select the device. I have the demo. Um, there will be no data because um, I doesn't I don't have connected the demo one, but uh, actually the Master MC51, and it um, loaded uh, the data automatically. And for example, I can switch off uh, uh, the current. I just switch on the position, for example, because um, this is now a li live data from um, this demo running here. So now to give it more uh, realistic, I've um, go to the lab and started the Linux CNC at the real machine. You see um, the MQTT client is running. And I've also loaded the same uh, demo program, and I will just start it. You see, uh, it's uh, running. The machine is running at the uh, lab and um, I hope we'll look at the um, machine book show to the and uh, I hope we will see live data from the from the lab perhaps we look at the at the current for example in the free axis Yes, it's running. This is now in my uh, IoT application and I just want to do some uh, adjustments to the code. Um, settings in the real-time graph. So for example here, uh, the minimum axis and the maximum axis and then I go to uh, build and deploy um, it recognized that there are some uh, changes in the repository the different show uh, I will edit some log message for example and I'll uh, commit the changes and then here it is shown that there are some uh, outstanding push operations and I do the push operation and then automatically um, a build is uh, triggered here in the build stage you see um, last commit uh, successfully built and now uh, the deploying was uh, successful and now uh, build 10 is running and we will start the cloud or the web service application. Okay.